So Norris Lake, Bab said, how much shoreline? I think it's 850. I have it up 850 miles. Right here. Yeah, look like 850 miles? No way. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. So, it is over 800 miles of shoreline. It's crazy. It's definitely the cleanest water I've seen at a lake in like these areas, other than like the Sierras. That's a little different, but. They were voted the cleanest lake in the country. I could cool. see why. But what's the one problem here, Babs? Well. So far, we've seen one snake in the water. So, there are snakes. I don't know why it's the closer you get to Kentucky, the more snakes you get, but we did see a snake in the water. Don't know what kind. No little one, just whack it with a paddle and it's gone. But that ain't gonna deter me from coming and playing here because this, this place is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Everyone says they're close to the shoreline. It may have been a one-off. I don't know, because we are sitting on the shoreline. It's actually kind of nice being overcast. Yes. It's only 80, it's like perfect. Perfect weather, Not too hot. a little bit of breeze. It's nice. This whole area is just so gorgeous, just shoreline that you can just paddle for days or bring a boat and just cruise around. Like, There's just so much to do at this lake. So Norris is man-made, it's reservoir. It was created in 1936, I believe. Um, and it's, you know, water storage, and basically electricity too as well. So, uh, good sized marina over here by the dam. Tons of boats in here. Uh, they got a lot, a lot of rental boats. Yeah, you can rent, you can rent houseboats here. Huge houseboats. There are huge houseboats you can vacation on. They are awesome, which may be in our future one day. But I bet, I bet this water looks way different on a sunny day when it's all lit up and just, this is cool. I'm having fun. Like I was saying, do you like this place? I like it. So far, the water's nice. Yeah. The shoreline is clean. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. I want to explore on the boat. On the uh, more of the lake part? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, I don't know how far we can paddle without our arms swimming. Funny, because people will be like, why do you guys paddleboard so much? It's so much work and effort. And it's like, well, have you heard the two best days of a boat owner's life? The day they buy it and the day they sell it. That's why. Trust the old board here. It goes everywhere. Not open? No. Okay, slip and sliding that. I mean, I don't see why not. Drop out. And what? I, I, Are you kidding me? No. There is no way. Drop out. You are nuts, girl. How'd you like to mow all that grass? No, it's too sloppy. That's a lot of mowing, huh? Yeah, but it's like on a slant. In okay, case so we came down the road a little ways from that marina, Bab saw this old mill. I'm gonna check this thing out. What do you think they shop? got? I don't know, they have a gift shop. Who's Uncle Rufy? Rice 18th century grist mill. So it says four generations operated this mill. The main water wheel, it's a wooden wheel with overshot designs, meaning the water comes from the top and pours down to grind things. It says it was made with a poplar tree but it said it was a sawmill, a cotton gin, a trip hammer, and even supplied electricity and lights for the mill and the rice home in 1899. A little dark in here. 
Oh, that's a bird. That's crazy. So the big wooden wheel spins this one, which spins this one, which spins that one, and that creates whatever they're trying to make. It's kind of crazy, it's still like preserved. You can do grits. Is it just a little snake? Don't burn <laughs> The minute she said snake, you were like, uh, what kind of snake? Where? What? So this is where your water would come in. Water would follow through to the wheel. Power it up. We should get a wheel, honey. Yeah. Make things happen. Shannon P and Adam Cook, 8, 10, 19. No one gives a shit that you were here, okay? That goes for all of y'all riding on this. Like, no one cares that you were here. That's great. Take a picture and, like, move on. Probably in the world. What is it? It's the world's largest elm tree. The largest elm? Holy cow. 400 to 500 years old. Holy Jesus. Man. Well, that was fun. You have a good time? I did. I think we got way more exploring to do up here. Kind of cool to see those, a little bit of history. And, oh, those are all those beetles. All right, let's go home.